What's going on guys, Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, we're gonna to be strictly talking about the casino games and the slot machine games. Cowabunga, let's kick shell, pizza power. So this is honestly how it really started. I had a customer that wanted a touchscreen slot machine. So this is really how the main project started. Um, but real quick again, we're gonna focus on casino and slot machines. There's really three different companies, you guys, you could say on it. There's IGT slots, we have Real Deal, and then we also have the Hoyle stuff. So uh, I'll start off with the easy stuff with the IGT slots. Um, those are pretty cool and honestly, very fully uh, functional with the touchscreen. Uh, so basically, if you think about it, like we'll look up Aztec Temple. This is one, um, you know, option but it has like eight slot machines in it. So sometimes you do get a little pop-up like this, it's gonna ask you about your graphic settings, if you wanna play in full screen, and then you press play. No matter what, it always asks you that. So here, for example, in this one, we have four different slot machines that we could pick from. So as you can see, I could literally scroll around, let's do Aztec Temple, and then you could you know, figure out what you wanna do as far as money-wise, and then we could play select the game. Again, these IGT slots are very clean. They always work. And again, it's fully usable with the touchscreen. The reason I say is because some of the um, real deal slots, sometimes you do need the keyboard and mouse. Uh, but again, we're focusing on IGT. So right now we could do like max bet. So the big thing about like casino stuff is that you would try to look on either the corners or in the middle, uh, but basically every slot machine has its own kind of menu setup. So as you can see here, I could press menu and then I can go back to other games and play a different game. So you could play this one, for example, spin it. And basically same thing, this is basically like a computer game. So you could exit it. It'll drop back right back to the front end. So again, this is IGT slots. Uh, I'll load up another one, for example, um, let's do like the Day of the Dead. Again, you press it, let it go through its thing. In the background, it's loading up a couple of programs. So we have four tables here. Add the volume on loud. And now you can play space with the max bet. Getting money. So like I said, every game is a little bit different. Um, so you just kind of want to keep your eyes on the corners. Like for example here, here's the home button. So you can go back to the home screen and you can pick a different game. Yeah, we'll go back to that. And as you see here, like there's a, there's a bunch of different stuff. Uh, game menu, really, you know, you could raise up your bet and all that. So again, every slot machine is a little bit different, but some of them you'll find basically in this area how to go back to the menu and how to exit. Same thing, we'll go back to home. It'll bring us back and then we can exit. And it brings us back. So again, IGT slots is great. It's very easy to use. The big thing to keep in mind when you do play casino games is that you you will kind of need the keyboard and mouse handy. Some of the games do need like you to enter your name and some of the games do need you to put the dollar amount that you want to start with and such. So let's load up for example like IGT slots Texas T. Ready for this? So this kind of booted here. We'll fix it though. So I go to options and I can fix the screen. So we could go uh, keep it big, we'll go full screen, we'll press OK. And now we're here. So as you see, I had to put my name in to start, but the touch screen still comes back and it works. Again, as you can see here, there's some stuff going on here. We could either take this away we minimize it, but again, there's some, every table is a little bit different. Uh, so for example, here to exit out of this one, you could do cash out and it'll bring you back. And there's a bunch of tables and such. So IGT slots are strictly slot machines. 
Now you want to quit, we just quit. I'll load up another IDT slot. So for example, gold bar, just to show you why you need sometimes a keyboard. So like here, as you can see here, I can't continue because it's asking for my name. So we could put that, we press enter, or I might have to actually be a longer name than just Vic. So we could do Vic, VP, game case. Yeah. And now we could go through, we could cycle through. So this has eight slot machines on it. Let's do Paradise, that looks pretty cool with the parrots. Again, IGT slots goes into full screen and it'll zoom in. Very cool. So we get the max. Raise up the coins to less than $10 and a max bet to end it. So I said every slot machine is a little bit different. So like right now, if you are trying to figure out how to exit, you could either look for a cash out. That should work to either cash us out or game options and then other games. So as you can see, cash out didn't work. You had to go to game options. Same thing here. You'll find a little menu and then you can exit. And there you guys have it, IGT slots. So next up on this one right now, we're gonna talk about real deal um, slots and casino. There is a lot, not a lot, there's probably like maybe 15 uh, separate real deal executables. Some of them work with the fingers and then some don't. You do need a keyboard and mouse handy. So I think it's mostly the one that has like the casino in it. Um, even though some of these like the Blackbird's Revenge, Blackbird's Revenge, that does need the mouse and keyboard for it. Um, I'm going to load up one that I know, for example, which is like the slot quest. Um, usually the slot quest ones they don't need uh, the keyboard and mouse. So as you can see, I just pressed the program. On this one here, you just have to kind of press play and it'll load up and such. And then on this one, this is definitely one that is good with the finger. It will read the, the touch. So for example, here I do need my keyboard to enter my name. We could press play. You can go close. I believe this is the type where you have to unlock the, the different slots to it. Press continue. See this one's like, there's a couple of accomplishments. We need a thousand credits, I guess, to go on to the next level. So here, there's a bunch of stuff. We could change the, you know, the max bet. Let's press close. We could even select lines and such. So I bumped up my select lines. And there you have it. So this is an example of a real deal slot that works with the touch screen. Big thing like on these, you'll see like, try to look, it's not exactly in the same spot you'll see, but basically in the slot quest, basically here you could see like, you could cash out and then, you know, there's usually a menu button and then an exit button to leave. And as you can see, it's going to leave, it's going to exit out, and it's going to bring us back into the home screen, the front end. You could tap here. I don't really suggest that you do. I'd rather let it close on its own. Um, I'm going to try to get the system to give us a little bit of a hiccup. Uh, but yes, yeah, sometimes it does give us a hiccup. So, uh, for example, like another slot quest, we'll do under the sea. So same thing. You just got to press play. And... Same thing, we could pick this table, the slot machine I should say, click this achievement. We need a, a hundred spins, so I could, you know, select my lines, bet max, nothing. <laughs> so again, same thing, this kind of layout is the same, so I could go to cashier, I could exit out, I could go to menu, and I could exit. Same thing I say, I would probably suggest that you let it kind of close out, you could tap to exit, but sometimes it might kind of freeze up the screen. So now on this now I'm gonna to try to find a real deal that's gonna not give us a headache, but it's gonna do it where we need a mouse and a keyboard. So for example, like if I do real deal slots Cleopatra, I do know for a fact I think we do need a keyboard or mouse. So it does kind of show a little loading screen. 
I would suggest to let the loading screen go. Um, if you kind of tap too early, it might kind of just black out the screen. I'll try it real quick just to see what happens. So yes, as you can see right now, you see what happened. I went too fast, I double tapped or whatever. And now if the screen is just, it, this isn't right. It's supposed to have a bunch of slot machines here, but now again, it won't recognize my touch. So I have to go now to this little eyeball and press basically exit. And as you can see, it actually kind of disappears and I am stuck. So again, this is an example I wanted to show. Uh, basically now I'm stuck, I can't do anything. So we have to do all control delete on our keyboard, open up the task manager, and then exit out of real deal. With that though, and I do notice that real deal kind of spazzes out, I just picked a different game by accident. Let's just see if the same thing will happen here. So as you can see here, the loading screen, I skipped it, but this right here I think is like Blackbeard's. Yeah, this is Blackbeard's Revenge. So right now as you can see the touch screen is not recognized. I do need a mouse to come here basically and pick my game. So I opened up this game thing by accident, but it's okay, at least we could kind of pick our games that way. And again, as you can see, there's a lot. There's like, I don't know, 30 tables. We could bet per line, bet max, and boom, same. So now the big thing is like somewhere here, usually on these in the corners, is gonna be an option to exit. So we have a little scroll here, we could press the scroll, and then basically I could pick a different game. We even have video poker on this. Let's see what that looks like. I don't even know what that looks like. So this also has like video poker in it. So um, basically you could, again, same thing. You need a keyboard, you load up um, the domination. And then now you could click here, bet max and all that. Uh, let's see real quick. Got nothing, not even two pairs will work. We need three of a kind and such. So we'll do it again. Uh, ooh, almost possible. No, oh. <laughs> just like in real life, just like in real life. Um, nothing. Five, six, seven, nah. Ah, oh, almost had it. Nope, doesn't risk it, I don't even know why. Damn, we need an eight. Oh, oh, I needed a king or an eight, see? <laughs> okay, we got three of a kind, we could at least win on this. All right, so we won at least that. So again, you do need the mouse and the keyboard on that. So same thing here, like we could exit here, um, but this is like exit this screen really. Uh, usually on real deal on the top left, it will give you the option for like more games and then you could exit out. Again, I would let this kind of rock. Um, let's just see if I if this drops back to the f to the front end correctly. Sometimes the front end will have like a white box around it. Um, again, there's just so many programs in between. See, this right here has like, it's just, it kind of bricked out. It still works. It's just like the images aren't really totally there. So if you want it to be safe, just hit the Windows key and then right click on our program and then close it and then bring it back up, one, two, three. So again, that happens with real deal slots. Again, th there's really a lot of stuff going on in the background. Let's load up real quick, like the Millionaire's Club. Um, so same thing, I suggest that you do let the screen kind of load up and such. Because if you do try to press it a little bit early, it might kind of like break out, but that's good. Once you see that loading screen, you're good to go. So same thing up here, we can now do a couple of tables. Uh, we could do slot machines and such. So we could do roulette. We're on the bottom here. Let's do it all on black. And we can spin it. Nice. 20. Got a good hit on that. Cool. And then like I said, here you could see that you could pick different tables and different slot machines and such. Uh, same thing, if you are done, there's an exit button. So we could close this out, exit. Oh, so now another type of slot uh, casino game, really people a lot know it is a uh, Hoyle Casino. Um, so you got a couple things, you got slots, casino, even have card games and such. So we could load up like the casino one. I don't remember if this actually recognizes the touch. You might get this, just press yes on it. It's basically like, an, again, it's an executable file, so.
let's see if this recognizes the touch it looks so far so good looks like it is recognizing our touch so hoyle casino games is a good to go thing so again real deal um the casino ones as you can see you do need the the mouse on so let's just see oh yes this looks good so i could do this nice let's do nice hoyle casino good to go on that let's let this spin come on red anything red and then i put a bunch of money on black <laughs> nothing so you could go here we could change the 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 table so you could go back to leave same thing see this is a different kind of layout um so you see here you got slots let's go to slots so we could load up something uh video slots Muscle car is cool. Let's see what that is. I didn't pick muscle cars. <laughs> I wanted muscle cars. Video slots, muscle cars. All right. So we could do uh, play max. So Hoyo Casino, good to go on the touch. Uh, awesome stuff. So like I said, Hoyo Casino, many people actually know it. Let's load up another one. So that was casino games. Let's do official card games. Let's just see what's up with this. So here we have to kind of sign in. We could do play as a guest, if anything. And then here, actually, I would probably suggest to use your keyboard for this. I'm using the keyboard on this, yes. So crazy eights, we could do war. <laughs> Poker, scat, the solitaire. Let's do war. So there you have it. I mean, again, that's Hoyle Casino. Uh, that's a very popular, honestly, a very popular PC game. Uh, great company too. So there you guys have it. We have IGT slots, we got Hoyle Casino. Even on this, I do have one PC game. Uh, it's called Super Blackjack. Um, this is literally like, it's on its own. It's, it's, its own developer made it. It's a, it's a pretty interesting game, but basically it's a, it's a card game. You gotta love that. When people have their own reference of that, <laughs> the winners don't use drugs. This looks like uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> I think that's why I downloaded it. But again, this is like the card version, let's say. Just go all in, just do it. Let's go. Got nine, hit me. 12, hit me. 19, I'll stand. All right, all right, see, so there you go. So this is Blackjack, um, and again, this is its own PC game, so, and this, as you can see, works with the touchscreen. Again, we exit out. It'll bring us back into the home screen. Spartacus, let's try that real quick. So you'll see, like, we get a little bit of menu here for full screen and all that. Um, we're just gonna press play. Now like I said it's sometimes good to let the let it load and you know let the loading screen go through. But basically, this one, uh, from me playing with it, it looks like it's very responsive to the touch. Might need a couple of presses, but again, you still need the keyboard to enter your amounts. We could spin. See like that. Sometimes it needs like a double tap. Again, it's always good to have at least the, the keyboard and mouse handy. So cash out is basically your exit. And then we could go and try another game. So same thing, we'll put a thousand, we'll spin. Cool, same thing, we could cash out. So again, like you might need to do like a triple tap on it to get it going. We exit, and we exit. There you have it, casino games, set.